What up, my dudes? Welcome back to another video. Again, we are at, you guessed it, uh, Fuji Speedway with the homie Buzz. <laughs> um, at Nismo Festival. So, gonna head inside and check out some cars. Just in the parking lot here, though. Got some old gold. And the tunes playing. Just head inside. As we head into the upper area, you just got a casual old school Mustang in attendance, which is cool. On what looks to be some old Watanabes. This is very neat. Interestingly enough, one of the main kind of plus points of these bigger uh, maker hosted events is you have, I mean, you have a lot of people in attendance, which kind of sucks for seeing the cars, but the plus side of that is there's lots of hungry people and lots of hungry people means there's a lot of uh, food shops. So sometimes they come to Speedway for events and there's literally nothing open, there's nothing to eat, but that doesn't seem to be a problem today. So not hungry quite yet, but we'll come back and find something. So at these maker events, you have a lot of just kind of show and display, stuff to check out, people to sit in, test out, see if they want to buy one someday. These Arias are pretty cool. They're like a uh, EV hybrid, I think. I like this color on here. Contrast to the family cars, you have uh, a bunch of GTRs, Skylines, Fair Ladies, etc. So, so we'll just walk around and check out what we can find. Sit back, relax, eat a bowl of cereal or something, and enjoy Nismo Festival. Some man of importance here. Probably know who this is, but I don't, unfortunately. Can you read what that says right there on the side? True. So in the sea of GTRs, you see plenty of T-Specs and V-Specs and NUR specs and all the different rare varieties of GTRs. And amongst the sea of cars, you sometimes see a gem, which uh, I believe these to be. I'm pretty sure this is a LM. When I look on the back, it says V-Spec. I don't know how to differentiate between the two, but I'm pretty sure the color is the LM. And then to the left of it, we have a Tommy Kyra edition 33, which is also very neat. You have the little turtle shell stamping on the hood, as well as on the bumper. Interior, you got the cool little stamping on the seats and whatnot. So very cool to see these things still driven around in Japan. They haven't been hooked off to auction to, to make a buck yet. I say yet, because who knows where the price will go, but again, very cool. Again, I think this is an LM, the color at least. Maybe it's a respray on a V-Spec, but you see all different types of varieties of, of rarities. So another one you kind of walk by and don't think much of, and then you check out the bumper here. And the dude actually drives this thing quite a bit, actually. I uh, saw this a couple years ago. Also at Nismo Festival, probably 2017, 2018, so it's been a while, but cool to see dude still thrashing and hasn't fixed his bumper since, so. Kind of hard to see it from where I'm filming, but crazy to see how far back they have pushed the engine in these things. In the lower area, we have Veilside's K1 
2023 Tokyo Auto Salon car thanks to Fast and the Furious DK, fair lady. Some of the small details on this thing that you might have seen, might have not. You can see here, it's decaled, it will show up on camera to look like a uh, katana. Nissan Amori bubble of all the rare spec stuff that they got in uh, on display. Car number one, club and spec, R32. R33. With our LMGT4s. Again with the Nismo Club, Club Man spec. And you can only assume that they have the same in the 34. Besides your Clubsman Sports, why own that when you can own one of these? Look at this beast. Think this pass is shocking? Probably not. And then, oddly enough, it's parked next to a Garage Active's full carbon R32 GTR. <laughs> Car has shown up in media many, many times, but you have a full carbon body. R32 GTR. I think this actually made its way out to Nevada for SEMA. And at one point, I think they said that the price tag was like something ridiculous, like a million dollars or Ichokuen or something like that. But still neat, full carbon GTR. This car has been around for a while. Have your gold wing door. Gold wing, Lambador, Lambador on the 34. Besides having Lambadors, you have the, uh, the extra Z tune spec fenders, the shark fin. Shark fin fenders, <laughs> super Z tune. And catch how these were molded in. That's pretty neat. This looks to be carbon as well, carbon weave. Not my cup of tea, but the craftsmanship seems to be there. And then you have. Another garage active car, this time their wide body R33, which is indeed wide. Front and rear. With some super deep dish. Wheels to boot. The wagon beside it. I 
anything. Next to that is a Star Road car. It is. And this is uh, like a flashback to 2017 uh, Stant Wars in Odaiba. Similar lineup. You have a new Z with pretty gnarly drag wing off the back with is that some type of arrow dampening option whatever this is the biggest wing you've ever seen shout out to uh, Narita dogfight Try and go up front and see what chassis this is. And I'm still not 100% sure. S15? S15, huh? I'll try and get in there a little bit more. We have this massive front diffuser, so got to lean in here. That's wild. Your exhaust is coming out the passenger side door. Luxan windows. Um, this thing has to weigh pretty much nothing, right? confident in their uh, craftsmanship there to stand on the uh, front front of the car there holds all the weight I suppose it has to how many pounds of downforce that thing probably makes at speed the upper area is cool of the Nismo festival but down here in the lower lot it seems like we got a lot cooler stuff going on uh, from shaft we've seen this a, a couple times now uh, is a recreation of the Blitz R34. The Nomuken car, right? It's kind of neat, little garage sale type setup they got here with a bunch of old option DVDs priced at, what is this, 100 yen a pop, 500 yen. Random interior bits, and you got headlights, taillights, wings, wheels, seats, interior, Alcantara, suede. Yeah, well, it's so this was based off the Z34 platform, the body, and then you have the older model Z molded on, on the front there, too. So you have 340Z written on. So I guess this is, was finished in 2021, from what they said. It's a, uh, a college production car or made by a college. This one is a Murano. This was exhibited at the 2023 Auto Salon. I think I saw this one there with a Shinsha or a new uh, Z swapped onto a Murano body. So pretty cool to see what the colleges here are making. Not my particular taste or styling, but still made by a bunch of students that are pursuing their dreams so all right my dudes that wraps up Nismo festival uh kind of filmed on and off stuff that was interesting uh just as we walked around i spent most of the day hanging out with buzz so i apologize if everything was kind of super random um but nonetheless hopefully enjoy just walking around checking out some cars so 
tune in to the next one. Uh, I bought another car here in Japan, so I'll showcase that once I get around to fixing it. But otherwise, uh, peace out, my dudes.